the last time this truck was really out of town, it was still in shambles. And the last time Dad and I uh, had it out of town would have been probably the inspection. If you could count that, two separate vehicles. This morning, after uh, what? A little more, approximately a year and a half now since that St. John's trip, getting this rig. We're going for our first little trip. We got to take it to the to a town about half hour, 45 minutes away to get some, he needs some construction supplies for a shed he's building. Need that length of the flatbed. Now please understand that throughout this short episode, you are getting a very condensed, just little snippet version because the bulk of this content of the interior project is being saved for the Newfoundland Hobbyist, which is most of you know, will know is my public television show that airs in the fall. So gotta save some content, of course, for that series. But you'll get a light condensed version there now and uh, you'll get to see the interior, but you won't get to see all the glamour shots and everything. Like I said, I'm, I'm saving it. Now I just spent the last hour mapping out a couple of beauties here. The last big construction project for the truck, and that is the rear panels. The trick is to map it all out with Bristol board, and that way you can sketch and bend corners and then trim corners with your scissors and test fit it easily. It's not heavy or bulky to, to work in there and you can just slip everything in and test and cut and test and cut. The key is to take your time with the layout part. Anything with templates, when you're doing a project where you can make a template, spend all the time you have um, working on that. If the project is a whole 100%, Spend 70% of the time creating the perfect template if you can. And then after that, it all becomes quite simple. Safety protection on, and we're gonna cut out those panels. Grab this little one today. You know, of all the tools that I have here in the shop, I have never owned a jigsaw. So I ran to home hardware because it's kind of in a bind. Dad couldn't find his. I grabbed the uh, cheapest one I could find there. Seems solid. farther with the uh, with the panel work until I finally sorted the electrical complete. When we sorted it out last year I, I weeded through and hooked everything up and, and found all my proper links and where everything went but I just kind of roughed it in and it wasn't perfect. I wasn't happy with it and now now is the time to have it done to a T. So now we have everything run in loom all the way from outside. I got up under the truck. I rerouted actually where it came in through the truck. And uh, this should be just, just pristine. And you'll notice behind me, the cab has been completely gutted, stripped of everything. All the components we've installed, everything. The seats are out, the backup camera's out. Everything's taped off, wiped down, washed down. And we are going to do a little bit of painting. And for the inside of the cabin, I've chose high gloss Cummins beige. Now, a beige interior is just about my favorite interior. I've had a couple vehicles with beige uh, interior in my time. Absolutely love it. And with those beige or brownish seats that's in this thing, the brown dash, I thought it would be just a perfect fit. So we're going to do everything. The ceiling, the headliner, all the, all the inside of the cabin except for the back wall, of course, and the floor. Very, very excited for this.
touching. And look at that from the front side. You can see right there in the light, a couple little jars, but because it's foam and vinyl, you can kind of relax that out and just have a nice finished look. See all those corners? See, even from the sides, they look lovely because we've done all of our dirty work on the back here. And now we begin the reinstallation of our beautifully crafted panels and boy am I excited. The paint looks so good. Just thrilled, absolutely thrilled. Look at that finish meeting up with the tan there. So classy. Mm, 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 mm. And like I said, you can do anything with this method. So this dirty uh, plywood again, a little bit chewed up, dented up, kind of rough looking. You can turn it into a nice looking speaker panel. The exact same method. See, we slotted through there and drew in the middle. We have a nice cushy premium feeling. This is a premium feel. Uh, it's higher end vehicles that have the soft vinyl steering wheel and the soft vinyl panels versus the plastic. So this is a real, real nice, like I said, premium feel. Now it probably won't come as too much of a surprise to you, but the original uh, stereo deck install that was done in this thing, I'm not sure what it would have shipped with when it was new, this vehicle here, probably uh, just a radio or something real basic like that. There was a single din, a single layered stereo deck put in there, but just a hack hole cut out that didn't fit the new deck. So I had to build a new, a whole new faceplate to take in that whole uh, indentation in the dash there so we could cut a fresh hole. I used my, my King Mill to do that. I pulled some 16th inch thick solid brass plate out of my knife stock, my knife making stock, and I just clamped it in the vise here and I perfectly milled it to shape, milled out the center section to hold the deck. Just turned out beautifully. And here you can see just what I went for here with a polished finish. I absolutely love it. I threw a little clear coat on as well just to save it from tarnishing as much with fingerprints over time. And I was originally going to go with just a really cheap budget sound system so I could say I had something in this truck. One of these no name or Chinese brand uh, decks for the system. But I ended up purchasing, spent a little extra and got a real nice Pioneer system for the truck. I couldn't be happier. Thank you. 
Well, that's it guys, a little bit of fresh gas. Truck is running absolutely flawlessly. Dad and I are having a great time, a little bit of breakfast. Load of materials on the back. Let's see the 12 foot pack of siding, which couldn't sensibly get in the, in the pan of our trucks. But just loving it. Everything is just super smooth. Truck couldn't be running better. This is good as a new one. That interior is so comfy now. We got some of the modern conveniences. Hope you enjoyed the video. Had to stop that music there before I get myself in trouble. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Leave me a comment down below. And I really hope you enjoyed this project. Hey. Hot tamale. <laughs>